Hello and welcome back to Ask the Accountant Pit Stop Podcasts. In this episode, I am talking to Clive Hand. Clive has come all the way from Ireland to chat to us today, which is fantastic. So thank you for your commitment. Thank you very much. Clive, tell us who you are, what you do, and we'll go from there. Right. Uh, so my name is Clive Hand. I'm the owner of uh, Bluestone Accounting. So Bluestone Accounting is a uh, digital online outsourced accounts uh, finance function. Uh, for small and medium businesses in Ireland. It's, uh, to me, it's a new concept, taking a digital approach to uh, providing accountancy services to small and medium business owners who desperately need it. I think listeners in the UK need to just take a minute to appreciate how far forward thinking we are in the UK compared to Ireland. Absolutely. Like what it, you're doing is five years ahead of your competition, really. Is I, I would say so, yeah. I, I, I'm not the only person doing it, but it's a minority. That, that is for sure. Um, when we look at what you guys have and what you guys can do and how you can deliver your services here, uh, it's night and day to what is available at home in Ireland. And the concept of having a virtual finance function, your own accounts department, uh, just on a part-time basis with a bit of payroll, bookkeeping, finance director, is a bit of an unknown. Yep. Uh, and it's new. And uh, to me, it's an exciting opportunity for for new business owners. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, so you're from Ireland. Absolutely. Why, why Accountex North? Why Accountex North? Um, well, it's just a short hop and a skip across the water. Um, I used to work for a company who had offices in Manchester, so I'm pretty familiar with the area. Yeah. And uh, it's a really easy location to get in and out of. So, yeah, right. why not? Um, smaller venue, more uh, personal, more friendly. Yeah, absolutely. Because you were at Accountex London, weren't you, for a short period? Oh, uh, no, Digital Accountancy Show. You I went to the Digital Accountancy yep. Show. Uh, that was a really good experience. Um, very big, very busy. So this is now more compact, more relaxed, yep. more easier going. Brilliant. Okay, so when you were traveling over, what were you most looking forward to today here? I suppose for me, it's about um, the panel shows. Yeah. Uh, it's to listen to people who've done um, and made mistakes corrected those mistakes and learned from others. And it's, it's it's taking the time out of the day to take some key takeaways from them, bring them home, start implementing those ideas. It's a bit of forward thinking, I suppose. Yep. With the purpose of how can we serve and help our clients in their business better? And I think the, the delivery of services, the services that you're offering here, is a real opportunity to take that home and bring that to the mainstream yeah. there as well. I am almost enviable of your position. Like, you know, I, I sit here and think, oh, well, you know, I try and learn from Australia what I can because yeah. I know they are ahead of us. But then I sat there thinking, oh, if, I, if I was doing what you're doing in Ireland, how exciting that would be. That hard work. Yeah. But to be a pioneer amongst a minority over there that are doing it, there's a certain level of buzz to get from that, I assume? Yeah, I think it's um, trying to cut through the stereotypical compliance accounting world and to say to somebody who has a small business, maybe it's just a family business, one or two employees, say, look, at you can have a bookkeeper, you can have a finance director, all in one on a part-time basis. Like, is that not just bragging rights in the pub? Yeah. I have a finance director on my yeah. team. Like... That, that kind of, and people are afraid of that, I, I think. Yeah. It's just because it's new and it's unknown. So it's about communication. It's about doing these stories with you guys just to build up that awareness as well. And there's loads of benefits that people get from it. Oh, huge. Massive. And yeah, to have that position where the market's kind of untapped. Yeah. That's exciting. If anyone listening to this from Ireland, like the value our clients have had from this in the last 10 years, five years in particular, has been phenomenal. And the confidence that they have in their business finances because of it yep. is absolutely phenomenal. So if you've not got a finance director offering a finance services in your business, then you need to talk to Clive. Yeah. It, like, in all fairness, it could be something so simple as helping negotiate rates with suppliers, yep. streamlining their internal processes. And the value that they get from that gives them a peace of mind, gives them freedom, and gives them real value. Uh, but insight into their own business, yeah. ultimately. And ultimately, because I always say, accountants and bookkeepers are at the heart of a huge business network. We should be learning from all of our clients 
and where it doesn't infringe on intellectual properties and stuff like that. I have to put that caveat in because I get told off. But where it doesn't infringe on stuff like that, we should be sharing that experience. Like, you know, I had a client once tell me how much they saved on their blooming electric bill by turning the coffee machines and fridges off at night. And it's like, genius. Told all my clients that, and now I'm like the amazing advisor. Yeah. It doesn't take complex advice, but so many accountants five, ten years ago in the UK weren't sharing or even paying attention to learn, never mind to share, yeah. from those insights. So the fact that you're out there doing it, yeah, so much value to your proposition. I, I think what's great about Accountex and the other events that go on in the UK is you can get to see the collaboration, um, the openness, um, and, and the community there is in the bookkeeping and accounting world. And to share those experiences, as somebody said earlier on, a rising tide lifts all of us. So yep. um, why not? And ultimately, the client gets a better service. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so kind of get what your highlights are and why you're here. Lots of people will be here today and go home and do nothing and then say it was a waste of time. How do you go to these events? Because obviously you're traveling a fair way, you know, I mean, probably further than I had to travel, just about. Maybe, maybe. Um, I mean, I'd, I didn't have to go through passport control. <laughs> so, Neither do I. <laughs> um, so how do you take action from these events? It's a good question. I think what's really important is just to, like, there's a lot of information going on here, right? Is kind of come, first of all, with an idea of what it is you want to take away. Just do your discovery, find it, and then take it away. Like, for me today, it's about how do I move my business uh, from being me as the business owner to now starting to develop a business. So there's some really good talks today about building a business and how you separate yourself. So I I've taken some key takeaways on that. Um, my initial offering was you're getting me. Yeah. Now it's more important maybe to start developing what you're getting instead. Mm -hmm. So my key takeaways from a context today is going to be how do we start that journey? Yep. Start a new plan with a new end game. Have you kind of scheduled time to sit down this week or next week or something to go, right, what were those takeaways? How do I implement those? Well, How do I start planning that? It's it's tax season for us over in Ireland at the so minute. No. So it's January for you, right? So, but certainly they won't be forgotten. And probably in the new year, I will have a, a more of a strategic plan about what I want to do for 24 and 25. Yeah. So once you've kind of got that, Per idea percolated for a bit time allows and you'll crack on absolutely fantastic what do you love most about this industry so i came from a corporate background right i worked in industry moved to practice it's normally the other way around um it's the tech it's it's the tech right to be able to come and see how different pieces of software can work together to, just to give you better numbers clarity vision make better decisions like if you're a small business owners you have only a limited amount of time and resources. So so we can now step in and help you direct your focus where that's best served, right? Um, I like the people in the industry. The community is pretty cool, actually. I love that too. And it's not your traditional stereotype, yeah. which is not aligned to my type of personality anyway. Yeah. So it's a pretty cool space to be in, to work with, to talk with these guys. So that's what I like about it. Detect the people and where we can take this in right. the future. What would you change about the industry? Back home, I suppose it would be to introduce more tech um, to give us more abilities. So think of technology as an enabler. We're lacking that right now, okay? We can't offer the level of services that you guys in the UK have, and it puts our clients at a disadvantage more so than anything else. The other thing I'd like to change is a move away from um, it, compliance, if I'm allowed to say that, and start thinking of the holistic approach. Yeah. How do we help our business owners on their business, not the business itself? What does the business own? So my first conversation with a client, a new client, is what's your why's in all of this? What do you want out of this? Yeah. And that then drives the rest. Yeah. No, definitely. Great. Okay. Speaking of tech, what's the item at the top of your tech stack? What's the thing you're using every day that you love? You couldn't live without, and you think every accounting firm in, in the world should have 
something that does this? Well, that's got to be an obvious one. For me, that's QuickBooks Online, okay? So my my whole business is centered around QuickBooks Online. Um, all my clients are on QuickBooks Online. Um, if anybody wants to use any other piece of software, unfortunately, they have two options. They either move to QBO or they don't become my client. It's one or the other. Um, it, it, there's so much advantages to it. Um, it integrates with payroll. Um, you can integrate with analytical software like Sift. Yeah, it just makes the job a lot easier, right? Um, and I made a very conscious decision just to narrow and focus down on one piece of software. Um, yeah, but my business isn't the business without it in the middle. So yeah. it's got to be quick picks. Yeah, I'm sure they'll send you the check in the post, and many more to come. Hopefully, yes. yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay. Last tech question. How do you feel about AI? Seems to be a bit of a buzzword here today. Yeah. Is that is that what it is? Do you think it is a buzzword at the moment, or actually does it have a huge impact on us now, or will it in the future? What are your thoughts? Yeah, I absolutely love AI. I love the concept of AI. I will say that it's probably still in its infancy. Mm, definitely. Uh, there is a lot of um, learning to, to, to understand about AI in the future. Um, but AI is only ever going to be as good as what we're putting into it, okay? Like, it's artificial intelligence, but it's not. It's it's only reading yeah. what we're telling it to read at the end of the day. So it's more machine learning than AI. But what it'll do for us, I think, in our industry is is, is push us in efficiency and productivity. Um, I just think the opportunities are, 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 are endless, limited to our imagination. So um, I'm embracing it. I'm trying it out every day. Um, if I see something as AI, I'll grab it, test it, give it a go. What, 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 you know, disadvantages can you ever get out of using yeah. it? People are worried that it'll replace jobs. I don't think so. I think it'll enhance jobs yeah. and add greater value. That's where I see AI going. I completely agree. I think the what I think what it's going to do is it re-engineer our jobs in the same way. Yeah. QuickBooks and Zero re-engineered our jobs from paper ledgers and spreadsheets. It's going to give us more time to do what we love doing which for the majority of people here is speaking to clients, yeah. supporting clients. If we've got less of the grunt work to do because AI can help us and AI can inspire our next conversation with that client, then I think that's a huge opportunity. Yeah, I, I, I've said this before. I think AI is going to free us up. We're having more time to spend on our clients. If we're spending 60% of the time doing the work and 40% clients, that AI will allow that shift. I think so, yeah. So a client rings up and goes, who's my top five customers? No longer do I need to go through Excel sheets. AI, what's our top five customers? And then we can look at the analytics with the client and understand their business yeah. more. That It's an enabler. Definitely. I love that. Cool. Okay. So. How did you discover us, the podcast? This podcast. So I think it was uh, Aaron, yeah. So in COVID times, um, oh yeah, July, I remember now, July 2020, uh, QuickBooks released the Irish version. Okay. I was like, okay, nobody knows what QuickBooks is, so on to the University of YouTube. Yep. Uh, did a bit of Googling and found Aaron Patrick. The QuickBooks chap. The QuickBooks chap. And he seemed pretty cool. And <laughs> he's all right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so from there, um, it just, just exploded. So that guy on LinkedIn on a Monday morning, yeah. he doesn't click yes to StreamYard. Yeah, that's me, all right? Stalker fella, right? Um, yeah, I just, I just love what you guys are trying to do, uh, promote, build awareness, and the commu uh, community as well. Cool. So uh, it's, it's, it's great to be a part of that. Thank you very much. So next, last two questions, yep. both all about you, right? Uh-oh. So what's your ideal client? Okay, so uh, three years in, it's taken me a wee while to figure this out. But um, my ideal client is somebody who gets what we do ultimately. Somebody I can have a real connection with. Um, somebody in the construction industry. I, I, I worked in industry in construction. Yeah. So I, it's something I know. Uh, but that connection with the client is first and foremost the most important thing for me. Somebody who gets me and appreciates and values what we're trying to do for them. That's who my ideal client is. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. So thank you very much for joining us today and coming all the way from Ireland just for a podcast. Pleasure. You've got, there's a camera over there with a red light, a camera over there with a red light, and the camera <laughs> next to producer Lizzie. You probably are better off with the camera at producer Lizzie then. Yeah. Plug yourself, plug your business. This is your opportunity uh -huh. to tell us what you do, how you do it, why you do it, uh, how they get in touch with you. This will be coming out in the next few weeks. Um, and then, you know, if you want 
any part of it, just let us know. So yeah, plug away. Yeah, so we're not really good to talk about ourselves. Okay, so uh, Clive Hand, uh, owner of uh, Blistone Accounting, uh, digital first uh, finance function for your small and medium business. Um, so we give you a blend of uh, bookkeeping, payroll, and a finance director all rolled up in one with the aim of supporting your business uh, digitally. Um, if you want to get in contact with us, you can find us on our website, bluestoneaccounting.ie, uh, uh, or on WhatsApp or any of the other social channels. And I'll uh, be happy to sit down and have a call with you. That's the best <laughs> as much as I That's can fantastic. do. fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. And thank you again for joining us. So thank you for tuning in and watching this episode with Clive of Ask the Accountant Pit Stop Podcasts. Make sure you keep tuning in. We've got lots more of these to come. So yeah, thank you once again, Clive, for joining us today. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we'll let you know when it goes out live. Happy days. Thank you, thank very, you very much. much. Cheers.